Assalamu alaikum. Today's our topic is center of gravity. What actually is center of gravity? Center of the gravity is the point where the whole weight of the body acts. The point through which whole weight the point through which whole weight of the body acts is called center of gravity. It means uh, for example any body we can uh, assume any body like uh, a square like suppose we have a shape of rectangle now the point at which uh, imagine that it's a cube a box now there will be a point in the body and we are supposing this is our center of gravity at this point the whole weight of the body will act and even the earth will attract uh, this whole body with respect to this point it is attracting and uh, all the weight of the body is lying on this particular point it is called the center of gravity quite simple often we confuse with center of gravity with another concept centroid now what actually is centroid what is the difference between the center of gravity centroid is a plane figure have only areas but no mass. The center of area of such figure is known as centroid. Now initially I will uh, tell you what actually is centroid. Now suppose this is our figure. This, this is a plane figure of a rectangle. Now it must have a geometrical center. What is geometrical center? We usually find the geometrical center by uh, taking the corners the midpoints etc find, to find that geometrically usually with respect to diagonals we find out this particular point the center point the geometrical center of the figure is called centroid now uh, in practical we often take centroid is equal to center of gravity but only in the case of plane figures now why i am uh, emphasizing or giving frequency on this word plane figures now this figure here is a plane figure and this one is a solid body i can show you now this is a is a solid body now if I am considering this body as a plane figure then I can say that its center of gravity and centroid both will be same now that is actually the difference between the center of gravity and centroid. Center of gravity is the point where you hold the weight of the body X and centroid is a geometrical center of the body. Usually in, in these type of figures, these plane figures, which have no solid bodies, both center of gravity and centroid are same. But when it's come to the solid bodies, we have a different center of gravity and different centroid. To understand this concept, I will make another figure like this is our circle. Now we also uh, draw like a ball. Now this is our ball. Now this ball definitely might be. Uh, mm, I will explain you like this. Now this is a crick cricketing ball. It's half of not a cricketing ball, a simple spear. This is our spear, and this is our circle. This is spear. Now this side is made with metal and this side is made with wood okay now we know that this part will be more heavy so i can say that its cent center of gravity will almost act at uh, this this point means more on the heavier side and its uh, geometrical center will still be here about here means on this line on half of the line because half of it, it is made up of metal and half of it is made up of wood the heavier side is of metal so center of gravity of uh, 
this ball will definitely will be almost at here showing in the green but the centroid will always be here okay now uh, for this spare we have different center of gravity and different centroid but in this game in this plane figure circle is always a plane figure its centroid and center of gravity will always be same at the center now this is the difference between center of gravity and centroid for definition uh, centroid is uh, read as the plane figure have only the plane only areas but no mass the center of area of such figure is known as centroid okay even usually in plane figure centroid and center of gravity are same now this was the whole concept of center of gravity and centroid no need to explain further now how we can find out the center of gravity of a of an object or even centroid of an object of a particular figure there are total three methods through which we can find out the um, center of gravity now before coming towards this point i will explain you a bit a small concept that uh, different cross sections we usually come across different cross sections we learn in our studies and we even watch in practical life uh, the columns you have watching i sections usually known as t section i section white section it is commonly known as white section t section t beams and the rectangular beams as well now this i section and this t section are known as composite section with respect to figure why composite because these are made up of more than one figure now this is other and this is other both have separate dimension because there is also some sort of in thick in this figure um the t section is actually drawn like this so to find out the center of gravity this is a composite figure and this one is a single figure simple not a composite section it's a simple figure or even a body we can say that so there are total three methods through which we find the uh, center of gravity geometrical sections help us to find the center of gravity of one section and with the help of this geometrical considerations we find out the center of gravity of composite sections by moments there is also an aid of geometrical considerations but the third this one the graphical method graphical method is a tedious and cumbersome cumbersome method it has only academic value it is not used practically to find out different uh, center of gravity of different figures it's not in commonly used or neither it's it's a tedious method it comes on but uh, we will learn how geometrical considerations help us to find out the uh, center of gravity how moments help us to find out the center of gravity uh, now initially we are taking our first method that is by geometrical considerations now in geometrical considerations remember that for example we have a figure a rectangle okay how can we find out the center of gravity initially you have to remember initially we need to make x axis and y axis from which point we are going to find out the center of gravity for example are these my axis this is my figure okay now are these my axis to uh, from which i am finding the center of gravity we always place the axis most near to the figure now the most near uh, place will be this this line so i will place my axis here from where i am going to find out the center of gravity of this figure okay i will not place here so i am removing this 
and I'm once again making this now my center of gravity line will be like this this is my y-axis line this is my x-axis line most near to the body okay first thing to remember now we will find out the center of gravity with respect to this x-axis and with respect to this y-axis with respect to this y-axis okay now uh, we knew that if I calculate this in the y direction means in this direction I knew my center of gravity will be at half of the distance this is geometrical consideration for a rectangular for a rectangle you can find out the center of gravity at half of the distance if this whole distance is h so then I can say that my center of gravity will be this distance means h by 2 for a rectangle figure uh, also if this is my distance b I can say that uh, this distance means this distance will be b by 2 so this is how I can find out the center of gravity of a rectangular figure through geometrical considerations we are learning geometrical considerations uh, to find out the center of gravity with respect